Okay, hello my friend, how are you doing? The next thing is that that how we can compare our cars, this tire and feel, this pressure, what is it there inside, that how much there is pressure when we compare those results in those car engines compression rates what are in there. And of course we need measurement scale and there is my measurement for this engine compression test testing and for that purpose I need this uh, tire and feel pressure meter and I will go to take that right away. Okay and there is my feel and there is this my feel uh, pressure and tire pressure meter and there is this amount in PSI or bar. Bar is this scale. And there should be this about two bars or more in this field. And let's go to look that next closer. Okay, and there is this my area. And first I open that cap cover in here and then I insert that my tool. And there is this amount. This Close this gap, and then we go to look. But what is my this measurement? Okay, sorry, a little bit. There is this amount is now. When we look, it is one point one point seven, and that means that now I have a little bit low and two soft tires because it should be at least more than two, two, and this is like uh, two, two, I have two, not, not enough, enough air in my fields that I need to add that, and then when we look this, what is the scale, it is like bar, scale is this outer bar, and it is like 1.7 bar, and in PSI, what is this red scale? We have like it is like 20, 25 psi. And then when I reset this amount, I can do this test again. Okay, but there is now situation that there is pressure inside in this my feel about this 1.5 bars. And then when we look that how much I have pressure in my engine. We need to look at my compression test meter and it is in my hand. And first when I have started that I can reset that. And there is now this unit is also bar we can see. And it is interesting to compare that that what is difference between that engine compression rate and then this then this tire and feel pressures but there is same amount and same scale there in feel there was 1.6 and let's look at what is in my engine amount okay and for that testing I need to take first these spark plugs away. There is in my hand a spark plug, and then I need to connect these spark plugs in these spark plug cables because otherwise my coil it can damage in here. It can be damaged in here. Okay, and then I insert in this my cylinder one. I have this compression tester. This testing tube, this area measures pressure, and in that area I connect in my tester, and there is small black gasket in in here. And next I insert that in here. I rotate that, and only using my hands, and then I insert this my tester. 
And this tester goes so that I move that metallic socket locking locking hole. And in that way then I connect this one in here. Okay. Now this testing testing is fine. And then I need to only go to start this my engine. So we can see that what results there are. Now we can look this. You can look this scale in here, and also that can be seen in here sparking because there should be sparking because this car is fine. Okay, and let's I start next and look how many bars there is. Then there is this scale amount ready. We can see that there is 12 point something and I take my first pressure out. I press that switch. Then I take this my scale in here and there is this memory setting. And now it says that that this lower amount in here it says that there is 12.20 12, 12 bar and there is this unit bar in there and this is like 1, 2.20 bar like 12.20 bar and it is when we compare when we compare that amount in here, in this my field pressure amount, it means that there was only 1.5 bar, there is this bar scale in there, and in there was 12.20, it means that there is almost 6 to 7 times higher compression in inside this engine. Okay, that kind of in information. Interesting. And thank you.